One of the most amazing, fundamental, almost magical processes in the entire world is photosynthesis. Here we are. Here's a plant which is busy photosynthesizing. Now, what's happening is it is capturing carbon dioxide from the air, and through photosynthesis, it is transforming um, the, a combination of the carbon dioxide and light and creating storable energy and oxygen. And it's brilliant! I'm just looking at it go! Go! Photosynthesize plants! Yeah! And that's the problem. It's just not very interesting. Because you can't see anything. It's gas coming off there, but I can't see it. I just have to take it on trust that it's happening. But there is one way to show photosynthesis and to make it fascinating, and that is to take it underwater. Apologies to my wife for nicking a bit of pondweed. Snip the top of it like this. Very good. And then you expose the main kind of shaft there. And then you need to get a bulldog clip or something heavy that will hold onto the bottom. Hope that doesn't snap off. Pull these apart and then drop the whole thing into some water. This is a USB microscope and when you start playing with this and looking at something really small, it kind of blows your mind. <laughs> and that is a thing of beauty. So, What's happened is we've chopped off the main stalk of the plant and it exposes the pathways through which the oxygen comes through um, this little bit of pondweed. So what's happening is I've got a light here. That is my sunshine. The plant is drawing in carbon dioxide, but from the water because it's got carbonic acid and um, which is dissolved inside the water, which you know, most water around the planet does have a fair bit of carbon dioxide in it. And what happens is it's photosynthesizing, but all of that oxygen that it's, that's creating as a byproduct of photosynthesis comes out through the very top of the plant. And you can see it in these little bubbles that start to form on the top. And what's just unbelievably beautiful is that that little bubble right there is oxygen. So when people talk about the rainforest being the lungs of the planet and all those kinds of things, which sound a bit fluffy and conceptual, it's genuinely true. It is oxygen being created by plants and being released um, into the atmosphere. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful to be able to show this. Um, if you get the microscope out, you have to fiddle with it a little bit. Um, you'd have thought that putting a black background on it would make it stand out really well, but um, you need um, a fast shutter speed um, from the camera. And so in actual fact, doing it as a white background um, seems to work really, really neatly. And as you can see, as the bubbles form there, there we go, ready and pop. <laughs> I just think that's absolutely stunning. I find it so exciting. Um, there are some other little tricks that you can do as well. Now this is a beautiful bit of kit which you can use to measure the rate of photosynthesis. It's a capillary tube. So uh, there's basically a long piece of glass with a fine, fine hole drilled all the way through it. And which means that we can draw all of the air out of it so that it's just full of water, which I've done by pulling this syringe up here. Um, and then you can take your piece of pondweed or pretty much anything you fancy and pop that into the opening. Once it's in there, it will continue to photosynthesize and bubbles will be released from the plant, um, but they'll be collected. Now they don't go any further than the top of this first section here, this little cone. So I've left it for a few minutes and now there's a nice little cone of oxygen sitting at the entrance to the capillary tube. Now I use this syringe and I can, if I pull it very gently, I can draw that oxygen into the measuring section of the tube. And there you can see that we've got quite a lot of oxygen out of that. Okay. So now, once you've done that, you can start adding a few different variables to it. You can add some chemicals that will increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the water so that the plant should be able to photosynthesize faster. You can change the light, you can make the light brighter, you can use a UV light and things like that. Um, and that way you can see how different situations can produce more oxygen. For anyone who's got the headspace for a slightly longer explanation of what's happening during photosynthesis, here it is. There are actually various different reactions going on at the same time that make up the whole process. 
Light energy is converted into chemical energy that's stored in carbohydrates in the plant. Now, energy from light is absorbed by proteins in the plant containing chlorophyll pigments. Some energy is used to strip electrons from water, producing oxygen gas, and at the same time, two compounds are generated, NADPH and ATP. Now, these are basically the energy currency of cells. Then another set of reactions kicks in. It's called the Calvin cycle, in which carbon dioxide is incorporated into organic carbon compounds in the plant, whilst at the same time producing sugars. The ATP and the NADPH produced by the light take these and then they create energy-rich compounds such as glucose. I, I just think it's the most beautiful thing because finally something that's really fundamental but is a little bit fuzzy because you can't see it is something visible and exciting.